Honors practice problem on elastic collisions and momentum. A 16 kilogram canoe is moving to the left at 12 meters per second, making an elastic head on collision with a 4.0 kilogram raft moving to the right at 6.0 meters per second. After the collision, the raft moves to the left at 22.7 meters per second. Find the velocity of the canoe after the collision. Pause the video now and do the problem. Okay, let's see how you did. There are a few important things that you want to pick out in the problem. For example, the canoe is 16.0 kilograms and it's moving at 12 meters per second. The raft is 4.0 kilograms and it's moving at 6 meters per second. Then, once the collision happens, the raft is moving to the left at 22.7 meters per second. And you want to make sure you're finding the velocity of the canoe after the collision. It is also important to know that it is an elastic collision, which means that they're going to bounce off. Let's look at an example. Now, let's break it down to before and after. Because the raft is moving to the right, it's going to be positive, and the canoe is moving to the left, so it's going to be negative. After the collision, the raft is moving to the left, so it's going to be negative, and we don't know which way the canoe moves yet. So now that we've broken down the problem, we can turn it into an equation. We know that the momentum is conserved, so the momentum before and after are going to be equal. We also know that the momentum is going to equal mass times velocity. So now you're just going to plug in the numbers. 16 is going to be multiplied by negative 12 plus 4 times 6. is going to be equal to 16v plus 4 times negative 22.7. This number and this number are negative because they are moving these ways. Negative 168 is going to equal 16v minus 90.8. Negative 168 is going to equal 16v, and v is going to equal negative 4.8, which means that we know that the canoe is going to be moving to the left because the answer is negative.